Welcome to ASM Track Tips. I'm Andy. Welcome to Barber Motorsports Park. Barber is a 2.4 mile track located in Birmingham, Alabama. Lots of elevation changes, lots of fast flowing stuff. Uh, awesome track, love it. We're gonna take you on a lap in a 3,000 pound car, 300 horse, on street tires. So again, your Miata guys, your Corvette guys, you, you know, anything crazy fast, line's gonna be a little different. So this is in a fairly moderate power car. Coming out of 15, down the straight, corner one, probably one of the trickier spots of this track because it is blind, downhill, and then you regain a bunch of grip. So you'll actually brake later than you think, you're gonna turn in earlier than you think, and you're gonna feel like you're gonna crash coming down into one, but as soon as you get to the bottom, car gains a lot of grip and you can power out of one. And, and once you're through it, you'll realize you probably could have taken that even faster. So coming up into two, several lines here. The more consistent line um, that I like to take is kind of hugging two, kind of staying tight all the way around. Uh, you can come in a little bit wider to try to get a little more exit speed, but then there's a little more room for air there. So whichever line you want to take, they're both about, a, about the same. Coming out of three, you better be back on throttle all the way up this hill. Four is a blind hill uh, with the car we're in, should have no problem staying flat there. But if you have a high power, especially rear wheel drive car, make sure you be careful there because there's a lot of cars that have hit the wall coming up out of four because the car gets light coming out of the, up over the hill. So coming down into 5B, it's probably one of the slowest corners there. Brake hard and turn in late. It's a, a tricky corner because there's, you think there's an apex here and an apex here, but really we don't care about this apex. You're looking right where this arrow is pointing. You're gonna look for that apex, turn in, get back on throttle and carry it all the way out to six. Coming out of six, you're gonna stay flat all the way down this straight. Now this track map looks a little different than what it looks like in real life. So maybe once you drive it, this will um, maybe make a little more sense from what I'm saying, but you'll come in, you're gonna brake hard, you're actually gonna turn in, and then you're gonna actually get back on gas for a little bit, and then another hard brake, and it's kind of a down, uh, a little hill fishbowl kind of thing. You come downhill, you hug it tight out of 7B, and then you're back on it right away out of eight, and all the way down 8A, all flat. So again, this looks very different from what it looks like in real life. You almost have to just drive the track, uh, in, and you'll see it in our track video as you come into seven, make, maybe make note there. Doesn't make much sense here at all. Um, so coming out of 8A, flat, coming in through 910. Now this is a high speed kink. A lot of cars can stay flat through 10. Uh, with the car we're in, it's very close to being able to stay flat out. Um, so you'll come in through nine, you're gonna come up, try not to hit the curbing. It's a little, it can upset the car a little too much. So try to hug nine and then very gently turn in to 10. And there is some curbing out here you can use if you have to. Don't try to force the car to turn back into the right because you can actually just upset the car more and then end up in a wall over here. So just let the car kind of float out like, like it wants to do. Come down 10, staying flat. Now this is a kind of a tricky spot because there's a lot of elevation change happening. Uh, you're actually going to brake quickly, then let off and early apex this. You're gonna early apex down 11, and then at, you touch the bottom of the hill right around here, you'll gain a lot of grip. So I will actually tap the brakes again, right at the bottom of that hill, and then I will turn in quite hard because you have a lot of grip. You can actually carry a lot of speed coming up this little hill up through 12. So, and I will ride really close to the rumble strips up through 12. Now very careful at the top of 12 because you will lose all that grip because you're on the top of the hill and the car gets really light. So. Make sure you're ready for it. Make sure the car's kind of straightened out at this point. Otherwise, um, you're gonna end up over here in the wall or you're gonna loop it over here. So be prepared for that. Stay full all the way down into 13. Uh, with this car, we can almost stay flat from, 
from out of 12 all the way down to 13 till almost 14. So you get, the car will compress right here again. You're coming kind of down a hill. It's gonna get compression, lots of grip up through 14, and now a heavy trail brake. So you're gonna start your braking probably at this point right here, and it's just a heavy trail brake all the way through 14. And back on it for a little bit, get back over to the right, setting yourself up for 15, and get that last late apex out of there, and back down the straight. E46 with an S54 making around 330-ish wheel horsepower uh, on street tires. Coming down the front straight, entering turn one is blind. You don't get to see the left, but you want a late brake, turn in a little after the brake marker, and back on throttle using all that grip from the elevation change. Enter middle track, try to get the fast exits. So start coming in, back on throttle, stay left. Careful coming over this crest, car can get a little light. Let the car float to the left if needed. Come to turn five, probably one of the slowest parts of the track. You're gonna turn in, keeping it nice, tidy, composed while trying to get back on throttle here. Try not to drift too much and carry all that speed down into seven. Seven A and B is very busy. You're gonna late brake here, turn in, back on power for a little bit, but then brake, downshift, turn in, and get back on the power. All trying to do is do it as smoothly as you can. Coming up into the kink, this is very fast. Be gentle with the car. If you do this right, you can stay flat with most cars, unless you've got a lot of power. Very fast part of the track. Coming in to turn 11, you're gonna early apex this. You're gonna hit the brakes, turn in right, use all that extra grip coming up the hill, but the car will get really light at the top. So be very careful. Use all this curbing on the right. Let the car come out to the left while trail braking in. Get this late apex. You're trying everything you can to set yourself up for this last corner onto the front straight. Trying to get as much speed as you can. And there's a lap around Barber Motorsports. All right, track snobs, the rating score. Barber Motorsports Park, fun factor, 10. This track is definitely a go-to track if you've never been there before. Uh, lots, of, lots of flowing corners, elevation changes. It's got some high-speed straights if you've got a lot of power. Uh, it's, it's really just got it all. And on top of it, the facility there is amazing. The guy that built this track is just a big car guy, you know, gearhead. I shouldn't even say car. He's got a lot of other stuff. Um, get to this track. Definitely one of those tracks you want to go to. Risk, 7 out of 10. Not the safest track, but let's be real, every track has some risks. Uh, there are a few spots on here where if you do go off, there's some walls kind of separating these two straights. Um, over the hill here, it, it, it can be risky, especially because of the elevation change. If you've never driven a track with lots of elevation to it, um, be careful. Some of that stuff can definitely bite you if you're not ready for it. Cars getting, you know, really light coming over corners, then really grippy under compression coming down into corners so be prepared for that technicality eight out of ten and again that technicality comes mostly with all that elevation stuff that definitely makes the track harder to master because you not only have to manage the grip around corners but then you've got up and down kind of coming into play so eight out of ten andy's final personal score i give this one a nine and a half out of ten again definitely a track you've just got to get to just everything about it it's always got a corner that you're looking forward to. Uh, very minimal dead time as you're driving on the track. So get to this track, definitely put it on your bucket list. We want to hear what you guys think. What is your favorite track? Mine, Barber Motorsports Park. If you think there's a better track out there than Barber Motorsports Park, let me know and let me know why. 